Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this loop with geometry nodes. So let's get started. Add a plane and go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add a cube. Duplicate it and set this one to 0.9. Add a mesh boolean node, connect it like this and add an extrude mesh node, put that here and now we've got this wireframe here. Add a join geometry node, we also need a transform node, open the timeline and go to frame 90, here keyframe the rotation and go to frame 130. Now set the Y to 180 and keyframe it. Set the end to 220. Let's also set the frame rate to 60. Now let's add 4 cubes and 4 transform nodes. Connect them like this and plug the geometry of the transform nodes into the joint geometry node. Add a combine XYZ node and plug that into the scale. Set the X and Y to 0.45 and the Z to 0.9. Go to frame 30 and select the first transform node. Set the X and Y to minus 0.25 and the Z to minus 4 and keyframe that. Go to frame 90. Set the set to 0 and duplicate this keyframe here and bring it to frame 170. Take this one and bring it to frame 220. Select the second transform node. Go to frame 20. Set the X to 0.225 and the Y to minus 0.225 and the Z to minus 4. Go to frame 70. Set the set to 0 and keyframe it. Duplicate this keyframe and bring it to frame 160. Now duplicate this one and bring it to frame 210. Select the third transform node. Go to frame 10 and set the X and Y to point 225 and the set to minus 4 again. Go to frame 60 and set the set to 0. Duplicate this keyframe and bring it to frame 150. Now duplicate this one and bring it to frame 200. Select the fourth transform node. Go to frame 1. Set the X to minus 0.225 and the Y to 0.225 and the Z to minus 4. On frame 50, set the Z to 0. Duplicate that keyframe and bring it to frame 140. Duplicate this one and bring it to frame 190. Add a Z material node. Let's go to rendered view. You're going to have to use cycles for this. Go to the render properties and set the max samples to 512. Go to film and enable transparent and transparent glass. Set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Set these settings back to the default settings before compiling the images. In the material properties, click on new and here let's select glass. I select the material here, set the roughness to 0, go to layout mode and go into edit mode, press delete and run on the numpad and now 6 3 times and 8 twice. Go back into object mode and add a camera, press ctrl alt 0 and with the camera selected go to the object data properties and set the type to autographic, set the autographic scale to 3. I'm also going to change the HDI. You can find a link to the one that I'm using in the description. Go to compositing, enable use nodes and denoising data and add a denoise node. Add an alpha over node. Use this input and here I'm going to use this hex code. Go to the output properties and select an output folder. Now let's save and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you liked this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.